Ah, oh, no. We go back to Coaster Nature with David Attenborough. And here we see the mighty dragon. Now, this particular dragon spins in a rather unique way. He's bold. He strikes fear into the heart. And I have a confession to make. I am not David Attenborough. I am Michael June. And that was Coaster Nature by... Here's Coaster Child with another update. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogs to Bob Bob Bell for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Prediction video. Now today is from Chessington World of Adventures Resort and this was suggested by Lewis Appleby and Jason Day. So big shout out to you for this video. If you, that's you at home, want a shout out in our next video, please comment down below. Please subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please like the video if you love this. Uh, please make sure you share the channel with your friends, your family, and on social media. I've also got plenty more videos to come from theme parks, from the Talking BGT series. Hopefully we get some more interviews on that. Some more other interviews as well, away from Talking BGT. So we've got loads of content coming on the channel, guys. Make sure you also get your questions in, as well as your shout-outs and video suggestions for our future updates. Make sure you get your questions in for our next Q&A, because when we celebrate 2,000 subscribers, that's when we release the next Q&A. That is when. And for now, guys, let's get into this video. So, this is a theme park predictions video discussing my opinions on the next five years at Chessington World of Adventures Resort. Now, this is located near London. It's a family theme park. It's a, it's a nicely themed park. It's themed around this adventure. You've got these different areas like Africa, the Wild Woods. Uh, you've got a Mexicana area. You've got a Market Square. Like, uh, used to be, it's called an Adventure Point now. Um, you've got all these little mini areas. You've got the new Rainforest area that opened a little bit for you know preview for press holders at the start of the season before we all got shut down because of COVID-19. Uh, but it did open for a little bit, so people got to see into the new area. Uh, Elmer's Flying Jumbo is the new rethemed attraction and relocated on the old uh, blue carousel site. Uh, but what's going to happen in the next five years? So to do that, we have to look at the last decade of Chessington World Adventures and think of a prediction from there. Let's have a look at the last 10 years of Chessington World of Adventures Resort. So starting off in 2010, where we had major investment in the Wild Asia area. Now this included the new Cobra Ride, as the showcase attraction of the new land. Of course, for those of you who are diehard Chessington fans, you will know, this used to be Beano Land, which was like a Dennis the Menace themed area that closed in 2009. Of course, we knew that at that point, uh, as a young kid watching Beano Land getting shut down and you know even though I'd never been to the park I still kept up with the updates on the park it's a park that I wanted to go to for a while now uh, and it's one of the ma only major UK parks along with Poland's I haven't been to uh, but I did check out the progress of this new area and you know and I, I was a big fan of Dennis the Menace when I was younger and I was quite sad when that land you know closed because it was a dream area of mine but Wild Asia when that opened my god the pictures made it look incredible and, on, and I'm sure people that are actually there well, no, it, it was even better in person. Uh, now, as well as that, the Wanyama Village and Reserve is created to expand the zoo area of the park and integrate the hotel as a resort. Now, in 2011, the resort welcomed sea life with some fearsome new neighbours. Eight sharks, including four terrifying-looking black teeth reef sharks. So, that was an incredible addition to sea life. Obviously, that opened a few years beforehand. Uh, so, these new additions to sea life were a welcome hit. They also updated the attraction with Azteca, a mysterious underwater city for the sharks to explore. So again, various updates to the Sea Life Centre. The Safari Bar and Grill also opened at the Holiday Inn Chessington, which is like the old hotel before it got rebranded, uh, offering guests culinary delights while they soak up the sunset and watch zebras, oryx and gazelles roam in the grounds of the picturesque Wanyama Village and Reserve. Now, in 2012, DreamWorks Madagascar Live prepared to party, opened in the new land, Africa. Flying Jumbos remained open, but moved to Forbidden Kingdom, and two new food outlets opened, the Coffee Hut and Original Sandwich Co. 
Now, in 2013, Chessington opened Zufari, Ride into Africa, which was like a safari truck expedition. We compared it in the industry a lot to riding a rally that's now closed at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Uh, so it was like a, an off-road adventure. Obviously, the same year as Safari in 2013, we got um, saf uh, Safari off-road adventure at Six Flags Great Adventure in New Jersey at the same year. Uh, but this was the British version. It had that Rock K finale, which I'm not going to spoil what is inside i've seen videos of it so i know what happens inside but i'm not gonna you know spoil it for all you guys uh but it is a mysterious finale and i do recommend that attraction even though i haven't been on it myself from the looks of it i do recommend it because it's a nice way to look at the animals and a nice surprise at the end uh now as well as that um, Zafari br brought the giraffes back to the park after an 18 year absence and introduced white rhinos for the first time and it was located in the mysterious African Kingdom, so it was part of the Africa area. They also opened Vampire's Burger Kitchen and Creek Cafe, which were two brand new food outlets in the Transylvania section. Obviously, that used to be Vampire and Bubble Works. God, we're getting closer and closer to the closure, aren't we? 2014, the resort's seen the biggest investment ever, with nearly £15 million spent across the estate. We launched the brand new Scorpion Express, which was the refurbished runaway train, which closed at the end of last season. Or I think it was the end of 2012, 2013, around that mark. And we saw the refurbishment in Scorpion Express, the brand new Amazoo Treetop Adventure, and the launch of the Azteca Hotel. Now, that was the fully themed resort hotel located on part with 69 amazing new themed rooms, a new splash water play zone within the Leisure Club, and a totally unique temple themed restaurant. Now, in 2015, Chessington celebrated the Year of the Penguins, launching an exclusive live show, Penguins of Madagascar Live, Operation Cheesy Dibbles, hashtag Cheesy Dibbles, and created two new fully themed Penguins of Madagascar bedrooms. The resort also welcomed the newly themed Penguins of Madagascar ride for younger adventurers and a brand new enclosure for our resident humble penguins, Humboldt penguins, including a walkthrough experience. Now, in 2016, some big things happened. In the world's first, Chessing Two World Avengers launched Pandemonium, which is a live show featuring life-size and lifelike animatronic pandas. Trail of the Kings was revamped and introduced Kamal, an endangered Asiatic male lion. In the same year, Kamal and Rani successfully bred three lion cubs, a major success for Chessington Zoo's breeding program. Glamping and Go Ape opened at Chessington along with a new restaurant known as the Smokehouse Bar and Grill and Chessington also launched the brand new mobile app. So a lot of things were launched in 2016. However, a big closure in September 2016 was the iconic Bubble Works ride after decades of operation and in 2017 we got the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure and I'm sure a lot of people were skeptical of the Gruffalo because it's an IP obviously we like original stuff compared to IP some of us love IPs compared to originals but some of us like you know originals compared to IPs we don't really prefer IPs but this one was a major success and it was a well done project by Chessington. So the Gruffalo River Ride Adventure was located in the brand new Wild Woods area, uh, previously Transylvania, replacing Bubble Works, the family favourite, after 26 years. The Gruffalo was welcomed across the resort with the Gruffalo Gift Shop, the Gruffalo Bites, the Gruffalo Arena and new fully themed bedrooms within the Safari Hotel. The Adventure Tree also opened at Adventure Point, so this was a brand new carousel ride. It was a brand new fully themed carousel, to the, so the old blue carousel closed, and they brought in this new one. Uh, it previously Market Square, now known as Adventure Point. Um, and of course the blue carousel became, obviously you know the site, but we'll get onto that in a little bit. 2018, the multi-million pound Land of the Tiger. Now this was a brand new area, so Peking Heights was removed, and they brought in the refurbishment of the Dragon River and created this brand new tiger enclosure uh, which replaced the Peking Heights you know, p section of the park and it was a full re-theme of Mystic East or that section of Mystic East and it became you know, Land of the Tiger with Tiger Rock which was the renamed Dragon River Log Flume ride I was so happy they didn't remove it like Alton Towers removed the flume and Thought Park of SBNO Logger's Leap I'm really happy that that one didn't go as well uh, it's because you know, that's the last permanent one in the UK Merlin theme parks you know um, last permanent log flume in the UK Merlin Entertainment's theme park, so it was very important you had to keep that one. Hopefully they do reopen Log Sleep if they're going to go for a more family audience at Thought Park. And um, yeah, so we've got this brand new Land of the Tiger with Tiger Rock, which is the re-themed Dragon Falls, and we've got this brand new Tiger Enclosure, which replaced uh, Peking Heights, and 
Bit of an interesting fact. I think it was, it's either some of the tigers or all the tigers came from Colmarden. So, very nice fact there. Of course, if you didn't know Colmarden, it's a theme park in Sweden that has an RMC coaster called Wildfire that they opened a few years ago. Uh, and they had tigers there, these white tigers. Uh, and they're now at Chessington. So, fun fact for you there. Uh, now, and I knew that because the theme park worldwide. So, what's in their vlog helped. Uh, <laughs> the project took 18 months of malicious planning. Uh, Meticious. I don't want to sound that. Malicious. Jesus Christ. Meticious planning and preparation to ensure Land of the Tiger was fit for the four felines. The zoo's kind of all keepers work closely with experts to design this custom built space for the big cats to thrive in and compromise as the largest investment in the resort's zoo in five years. Now, four new tiger themed rooms also opened in the Chessington Safari Hotel. Now, 2019 was a big one for openings and closures. Kind of like 2016 with the closure of Bubble Works and the launch of all this new stuff. 2019 was a big launch and a big close. Now, of course, the big launch was, of course, the re-theme of Hocus Pocus Hall. Now, towards the back end of 2018, we learned that Hocus Pocus Hall was up for sale and we didn't know what was going to happen. However, it was then later confirmed in 2019, Room on the Broom, a magical journey. So this was a new launched experience for spring 2019. Another Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheifer's illustrated much love story, you know, brought back to life in an attraction like the Gruffalo was uh, and things like that so obviously you know Room on the Broom was the next step uh, and this also you know accumulated in two new themed rooms in the Chessington Safari Hotel. Now also in that year a massive massive closure for us Thrill Ride fans. The last permanent Huss Top Spin in the UK Ramesses Revenge made its final uh, trips, its final spins uh, before getting ready to be removed for a 2021 project. Uh, now, of course, I never got the, to experience Ramesses Revenge, so I never got the opportunity to spin it, uh, ex to be spun on Ramesses Revenge, but I did experience Ripsaw, and that's that was an amazing, amazing, amazing ride. Uh, it's such a great ride, such a great attraction, uh, and Ramesses Revenge, I'm sure, was good as well. I think even though it's time was coming, it's, it was still sad. It was kind of like a 50-50 closure. Like, it was half sad, but half expected them on the enthusiast because it was in a dire state for a couple of years in terms of the surrounding area and how it was operating and things like that. So, uh, I think it's time was coming. I think we kind of knew it's time was coming, but we were still sad about its closure. It, I didn't even ride it. I hadn't even ridden it and because I've never been to the park, and I'm still sad about the closure. But, hopefully, fingers crossed, we do get a permanent topspin in the UK very, very soon. So, there we go. So, that is the last 10 years of Chessington World of Adventures. A lot, and I mean a lot of stuff happened. We've had, um, you know, new areas, new attractions, new experiences. The closure of such iconic attractions that made Chessington what it was today. Bubble Works, Ramesses Revenge... Beano Land, that was a good, you know, noughties uh, themed area, good themed area for the noughties decade. Um, so it's very interesting with all these closes and openings, and obviously the launches of stuff with the accommodation, the live shows, the mobile app, loads of stuff being launched. And of course, I didn't mention 2020 at all. Of course, we know that they're opening this new rainforest area, which is already opened uh, after the preview day back in February and stuff like that. Uh, so the, that'll open with the rest of the park when the park reopens after this COVID-19 crisis and, you know, the government says it's okay to open it. But the rainforest area came in. Elmer's Fine Jumbos, which is a retheme of Fine Jumbos, that got relocated from Forbidden Kingdom as construction starts for 2021. And that is where we're going to start our predictions. So starting off with 2021, Ramesses Revenge on the Flying Jumbo site right there in Forbidden Kingdom will be transformed into a crocodile-themed drop tower. Now from the plans that we spoke about in previous videos that were between 10 minutes and 25 minutes long, yes, get your popcorn for that video, uh, <laughs> um, we spoke about how it's a crocodile-themed drop tower. You're going to rise up and you're going to... It's a free-fall tower, not a shot tower. So you drop inside the crocodile's mouth, kind of like magma at Poulton's Park, how the station is set inside the big theming items. So I think they're going to do something really clever with the, uh, the theming item and have like a nice base for the crocodile head and have it like the whole station building for everything. 
and then have the the mouth coming out in a V shape. So, uh, you know, I think it's gonna be very very clever. It, it could be the same manufacturer as um, Magma. It could be the same manufacturer as that. It could be the same manufacturer as Detonator. It won't be an exact clone like we were rumouring months back uh, before that got shut down a few days after it started. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Detonator, but you're still at Thought Park. Um, it could be the same manufacturer as Magma. It could be the same manufacturer as Detonator. We do not know. Detonator is a Fabry. Magma at Poulton's Park outside the Millen chain is an SBF Visa. Maybe we get a Zamperla one. I don't know. But I think I'm betting on either SBF Visa or a Fabry. Just in my personal opinion. I don't think Intamin will be on this. I think that may be way too expensive for this. Even for a family drop tower. Uh, so that's 2021. Very easy to predict. We know it's happening. Uh, moving in then to 2022. And 2022, again, is quite an easy one. I'm thinking we're going to see some general park improvements. However, however, this will be the start of work for 2023. I'm going to go all about 2023 in a little bit. But 2022, in terms of work, I'd like to see. I'd like to see some TLC, maybe some uh, just general park improvements. So maybe some signage treatment, some refurbishments on a couple of rides. Uh, just some general maintenance. Uh, maybe they retheme a couple of the family attractions, or they put in a family attraction in one of the areas. Maybe uh, the room on the broom area. If they've got a family attraction on the way up to room on the broom, maybe they retheme that to a Julia Donaldson book. I don't know, uh, but I think that we could experience just some usual TLC work and maybe a couple of uh, you know family rides, you know, going in like little kids rides, etc. Just to you know boost up the kids market. Moving in then to 2023, and I think this will be the year of Chessington's next coaster. Now, I could very well be wrong. However, I believe it could be happening. Now, obviously, you know where I think is, this is going to go. Opposite Dragon's Fury on that field. Of, you, you can see already on your screen, I've circled it. And there's only two types of coaster we're thinking here. If you've watched the long-term development plan of this park, you'll know what I'm going to say. A jungle-themed... Uh, or maybe Land of the Dragons themed uh, Intamin family launch coaster like Juvelin at Dejour's Summerland. Or uh, look at Yukon Quad as the most recent example at La Paul uh, in France. Uh, so one of those two as a reference to that one. So an Intamin family launch coaster like a motorbike or, or like an ATV type uh, jungle run like family launch coaster. Or a water coaster. Now whether that's pirate themed, we don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know to be honest. Uh, obviously, I'd like it to be pirate themed. Of course, I'd love it to be. But I think if they're going to do that, I think that's best suited for Pirates Cove, or maybe they're not going to go with the pirate theme for this water coast, like it said in the long-term development plan. Maybe they change the theme and they go with that jungle theme or a dragon theme again, uh, and they go for like a Mac or an Intamin, something like that, like Divertical at Mirabellandia or. Um, maybe something like Chapas, but maybe a little slower. Maybe they go along the map Power Splash route. That might not be a bad idea, you know. Uh, so, you know, obviously it's a water coaster or a family launch coaster from the long-term development plan. I don't mind either, to be fair. An Intamin family launch like a Juvelin or a Yukon Quad would be a very good fit for the park. And it would be a multi-launch. They haven't had a launch coaster at the park. So, you know, perfect fit. Uh, but a Mac Power Splash or some kind of Mac Water Coaster would be very, very good as well. Now, moving in then to 2024. And again, I'm thinking this is TLC work. Just general bits and bobs here and there. Nothing too special. But again, this is work for 2025 or 2026. I'll make that aware. And that is because... 2025 and or 2026, well actually no, all 2026, not and, uh, <laughs> I think this is going to be the location of a brand new either expansion of a current hotel complex or a brand new complex. Now obviously in the long term development plan there were talks about possible safari lodges behind Zufari, maybe that's another possible location for some kind of accommodation. However, however, I do want to see an accommodation and another site where, that I've picked out which I think could be a good site either for an expansion of a current complex or a brand new complex from scratch. It's right behind uh, this pitch uh, which is not on Chessington land so I don't know how far about they can go with this but depending on what's on that little grass field, the big grass field you know, outside the image, 
I think I'd like to see some kind of accommodation here, you know. If not, you know, again, look at the Safari Lodge, you know, plans in the, in the long-term development plan uh, behind Safari. And if this is happening in 2026, then 2025, again, could be, you know, TLC work and things like that. So, there we go. So, that is my predictions. Obviously, things can change. Uh, and I definitely think things could change and definitely will change. Uh, but in there, if you want a bit of a rundown, a uh, few TLC years, a drop tower, a coaster, and a hotel expansion or accommodation. So, um, depending with, and, and de that depends whether it's, you know, 2026 or 2025. If not, it's just TLC work, drop tower, and a coaster. So, you know, the coaster could be moved back to 2024. You know, if they don't do the hotel in 2025, they do it in 2026, or even, you know, God by all means, 2027. You know, they could move the coast to 2024 or 2025 and do a couple of TLCs back to back uh, and do some constant improvement while they're constructing this new coaster for, you know, a couple of years down the line. So I think Jessington will add a new coaster in the next few years. So I think we'll, we'll see a, definitely a new coaster this decade. Absolutely, we'll see a new coaster this decade. It's just a case of when, and it's been hard to predict this one. So big shout out once again to Jason Day and Lewis Appleby for sending me a hard one. It's been a hard one to predict, but I've got there in the end. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park prediction video predicting the next five years of Chessington World Adventures. Like I said with the... Re well, I didn't say it in the other videos, but like I'm going to do with the other videos that I've done so far and the videos that you guys have been suggesting as well for these prediction videos. I'm going to actually create a new thumbnail style. Well, not the thumbnail style, but like a new thumbnail style with that new name. Uh, and I may do... Set this up as a next five years prediction series. So... This will be in a separate playlist to the theme park prediction stuff. Um, and then, obviously, you know, we'll have a playlist for the next five years, 2021 to 2025. And then, obviously, another playlist for 2026 to 2030. So, just so you guys don't, don't get confused. Uh, but, and we'll keep doing that every few years. Uh, but... You know, obviously, we'll come back to these predictions uh, when discussing the next five years in 2025. Um, that'll be a big year for this channel because we'll be doing these predictions again um, as well. So, you know, we're going to come back to these in a few years and sort of, you know, guess, did I get this right? Did I get this wrong? What do I predict for the next five years between 2026 and 2030? Um, so it's going to be a very nice prediction year. Uh, in 2025. It's going to be a nice prediction year. Kind of like now. 2020 is a nice prediction year until 2025 uh, on the channel. So, thank you very much guys for watching this theme park predictions video. My name is Coast Chai YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now guys, keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome time.